Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Scavenger. We're going to jump right into today's episode of Artemis. So go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And check out the links in the description to further support the channel. Let's do this. Alright, here we are. Uh, Nathan is up. His car didn't start, so he didn't get to go to the marathon, which was rained out anyway. Um, so it looks like we're going to work on Artemis some more. And he looks kind of bored. <laughs> nah, he's just reading. He's just reading some code. <sighs> I'm stumped. I need to do something else right now. Hmm. What are we going to do? I wonder if that cam girl is online. Veronica was her name. Veronica was her name? All right, so I guess I should explain who the cam girl is because I don't know if I um, put that part in one of my in, in the episode where it would have been. Um, he met a girl at a an adult store, helped him pick out some stuff for Kendra, um, and her name was Ver Veronica, I think. So... Um, Anyway, anyway, she kind of dug him, so she gave him like a, her card or whatever. She has a she has a cam service, so I guess that's what he's talking about here. Let's see if that thing she sold me was just a way to suck her guys into her room. Where did I put that thing? All right, I got everything. Um, what what was her? I think it was in V We Trust. What's her username? Oh, good. There she is. Uh huh. Oh, and she's just wrapping up her stream, it looks like. I'll see you all tomorrow, my lovelies. I love you so, so much. Oh, shit. No, don't go. No! Hey, it's me, Nathan, from the sex shop. <laughs> Come on. I don't want to have to hunt you down every day. <laughs> let's see. If, let's see if she got it done. Ah, oh, fuck. Hi. Okay, this is text. I, I don't think I need a voice text, do I? Veronica, do you remember me? We met last week. Bustlers? Oh, sweet. Well, straight to the private chat. That means she must remember him. Hey. You know, you know who she looks like? Who I think she is? I put glasses on her. That's V. That's V. She works uh, at Indian Vetus as well. She's like their their tech person or their uh, uh, IT person. Her hair seems shorter um, at work. Maybe it's just the way she's dressed and everything. I don't know. I mean, her hair seems longer here, shorter at work. Were you the funny guy playing with all the toys there? You had no idea how much I had to keep from bursting out laughing. <laughs> well, glad I entertained you. I loved it. I'm assuming you wanted to know about the mod for that thing. One sec, let me find the link for the guide. Does she have two different color eyes? I didn't notice that before. I'm going to have to look at her um, when she's at work at Anidia Vitas and see if she has two different color, see if she has two different colored eyes there too. I didn't notice that before. Could just be a contact she wears for her shows here. Sorry, I couldn't just like email you or something right then. I had lost my phone, so I was an entire day without it. Totally sucked. Okay, here it is. Huh? Seems simple enough, but what does this all intend to do? Uh, no worries, here's the gist of it. These models had one major restriction placed on them, and it involved the beads that rotate inside. The issue was they had rotated at a speed that the manufacturer claimed the friction would cause the material to melt. However, the restrictions implemented were way too strict. This isn't going to hurt my friend, is it? No, the custom firmware simply lessens the limitations to a more pleasurable level. The modified limiter will slow down the rotations. By the oh shit, okay, alright, calm down. The slow rotations will feel so euphoric. Damn, you girls must be thanking whoever wrote this. It's been out for about a while now. 
I still get DM'd about it. Oh no shit, this is your code? Is this uh is this cam business more like a hobby for you? I mean, if you're able to write something like this, I mean, unless being a cam girl pays more. Depends on your popularity. I do this for fun though. But yes, I do have a normal job. I wonder if she could help me with the imaging code I'm having trouble debugging. Trusting my code with a random stranger though. I'm not liking that. But then again, it's just a fucking image translator. Nothing unique about it all. And it's not like I'm sharing the actual important part of it. <sighs> Take chances. All right, probably not what probably not what DK was referring to, but if this girl can help me, that'd be fucking great. Wouldn't hurt to have a coding buddy now that I don't have cast to bounce things off of. Oh, here goes nothing. Hey, Veronica. Quite the internal monologue you had there. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was debating something. I wanted to ask you if you wouldn't mind looking at something for me. I can pay you. Dick ratings are 100 coins, but I'll rate yours for free. <laughs> oh, no, uh, no. I'm, uh, I'm writing some reverse imaging software. Well, it's a little more sophisticated than I'm making it out to be. Anyways, I've been banging my head on it for a while and I'm fucking stumped. Would you mind taking a quick look? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry about the earlier comment. Guys always start out with that and then send me their pics. Um, yeah, I get it. I get it. Uh, so what you got? Here, send it to my email. This platform logs everything and I don't want your code to have a trail here. Yeah, right. Thanks. One sec. So she gave him a personal email. That's good. That means uh, right off the bat, she's doing something somewhat trustworthy, right? Um, here, check this out. Hmm. Mm hmm. You wrote this? Yeah, I know. It's a little sloppy. <laughs> no, I was going to say it's a nice coat. Thanks. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Hold on. She found something. What is it? Well, I found your issue, but I'm trying to think about how to tell you. Honestly, I don't care at this point. Check it out. Line 64. What am I lo... Oh, no. Come on. What is it? What is it? She's laughing. Are you fucking shitting me? Ah, oh, I'm gonna cry right now. How did you find it so fast? And why didn't the debugger catch that? Well, it's a clever error. I used my own tool, though, that I wrote. I'm going to also send you a link to my repo for my debugging tool. You'll have to compile it yourself, so feel free to look over the code and confirm there's nothing malicious like a backdoor or anything like that. You're a goddamn lifesaver, you know that? <laughs> Just do me a favor and use your coding powers to better our world. Okay, thanks for the help. I thought you were going to scam me. No, I'll just say thanks for the help. I think she's an honest person. Seriously, though. You saved me a huge headache just now. I mean, I still hate myself. <laughs> but thanks, Veronica. The pleasure was mine. All right, I better get going. Hey, wait. Since you gave me a real good show at Bustlers the other day. Can I return the favor? Oh, this one's on the house. Uh, I mean, sure, she's offering. <laughs> Don't worry, just relax and enjoy yourself. All right. Well, that was interesting. We uh, we figured out the issue with Nathan's code. Veronica gave uh gave him a little show, and now we have a new coding buddy. So I think that uh, ultimately that was that was good. Very good use of time. It's a good thing we did this. But I'm getting hungry. Oh, is she back? She looks a little down. Hey, when did you get back? Okay, all right, Kendra, what's going on? <laughs> I said don't worry about the car. It's not your fault at all. I don't doubt it at all that you can fix it. June told me about how you two met. Ah. I'm sorry you had to go through that. It's fine. It's in the past. I'm just trying to focus on what's ahead now. Okay. 
Are you okay? Yeah, just been a long day. It was fun getting to know June, though. <laughs> so you two hit it off pretty well? She's so much fun. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, she's tired. Well, I'm burnt out after my crazy morning. I'm going to take a nap. Also, I wasn't sure how soon I'll be able to figure out what's wrong with your car, so I registered the electric car that's in the workshop. I emailed you the registration, so if you get pulled over, just show that and you'll be fine. That quick? I did flex my last name a little, and that got things moving. Anyways, try not to crash the car. <laughs> Enjoy your nap. I want to see what the car looks like, though. But I guess we're not going to do that right now, because... We're back with Rena, and that means we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and check out the links in the description if you want to further support the channel. Thank you. You guys take it easy. Bye-bye.